Because that's another thing we have to fix that they didn't do right. Surprise, surprise. Uh, yeah, so impressed. Uh, there are many things, but yeah, we'll just. <laughs> the roof is okay. Uh, it's not perfect. It's okay. It's much better than it was. So. I'm not going to go to the hotel. 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 I'm yeah, water goes in here, especially here, and there's a hole here, so it goes all the way here, and here, yeah, at least, we have ideas, this one is heavy, I'll compare the other door. Uh, it's been. Uh, we have some kind of typhoon here. It's pretty, uh, pretty okay right now. But it's supposed to be here for two more days. And uh, yeah, uh, I guess it's my fault. I should have told them that when they make a door, then make sure it doesn't leak. That they actually weld it together, not just spot weld it together. But yeah, of course they didn't. Yeah, it's. I'm trying to stay positive, but for, for the people that have been commenting that the first crew didn't do anything right, I'm more and more in your corner. I'm getting kind of tired of it. Uh, essentially, we're gonna have to re not redo everything, but fix everything they uh, they did from the road to the riprap to the house to the doors to the roof to the. Yeah, it's a lot that we need to fix because here I, they didn't, the same as with roof, they didn't follow my instructions. So apparently I would have had to, I mean, they were more like contractors, but I have to stand over them and look at the, everything they do. So yeah, they're not getting any more work, not from us at least. All right, so, oh yeah. Philippines, yay! Uh, this one, we 
moved most of the pile here uh, and actually I did it also. And here we have a beautiful protection for the awning window. So uh, Loloi opened up the walls to find the rebars. Uh, so it's actually welded into something so it's relatively solid. So if someone wants to try to break in here they're gonna have a lot of work to do. We're gonna fill this one up obviously and then we're gonna fill the tank up and make sure that the installation process isn't leaking including in the wall because at this point that crew I don't trust anything they did and assuming it's fine then they're gonna add or uh, Uncle Tan will add a layer of plexi bond on this wall just a little bit of extra protection. Uh, actually, I can walk this direction now. Uh, we're also gonna open up, I'm thinking here, like over here, uh, a square vent. Uh, and the same both. So, here, middle of the CR and middle of the bedroom. Uh, so right now we have condensation forming in the CR, we don't have it in the bedroom and we're uh, assuming we don't have any leaks, we don't see any leaks, shouldn't look like that with leaks but we have water coming in from the door because because of many reasons to be quite honest right now they, yeah, they didn't follow my instructions completely close enough but uh, still more shit to do uh, so uh, yeah, uh, we we gonna need. Okay, hold on, hold on. We made a hole here. There's more water. <laughs> oh, so it's gonna be in each one. Not sure. The alloy one. Probably. Alloy. It's gonna be on the other side as well, probably. All right. So apparently we need weep weep holes in the doors as well, or. At least this door, the other one depends on if we put it outside in the future. Right now it's safe. Yeah. And we don't have electricity right now because of the typhoon. It's been brown up for like two days or day and a half, a little bit more, closing in on two days. Uh, yeah. So impressed. Uh, there are many things, but yeah. We'll just plug it up with silicone or liquid weld or whatever and then paint over it. Uh, so, let's see. Let's see if I can remember where I was this time. Ah, uh, no. There are many things. Many, many small things. So, either way, yeah. Uh, as you can see, we don't have... Um, if I remember what the hell I was talking about before she got me, I'll uh, go back to that, otherwise, different video. Uh, so we don't have a water puddle here right now, so the temporary fix works. Um, it's been raining a lot, like hardcore, and there's flooding all over the Philippines and stuff, but at least this hole, you can see, it does bring some dirt with it, uh, and we have this one because that's another thing we have to fix that they didn't do right surprise surprise uh, but yeah this this hole for now works uh, it's not gonna be a long-term solution but that's what it is and Cerberus guard dog we have the other one around as well uh, they did add some bamboo uh, struck or so they put nails to through the bamboo to hold the mark on this one uh, so it should not fly away in the wind we hope yeah and we have some dirt here that's actually gonna be removed when I do the French drain but that's still a while away the guard dog. <laughs> That's at least three guard dogs in this country. 
Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed today. Also, it doesn't help that we've been without electricity for a couple of days. Uh, my wife is gonna batch cook when we go back because our freezer, everything in it is thawing. So, I'm gonna fix that. Oh, yeah, both our water sources right now are clogged up. So, need to send Lola for that too. Remind myself to tell my wife to tell him. Uh, I'm just gonna take a picture here. At least we have some. Uh, it's been so we have some flowers already. It seems to be in focus. It seems to be in focus. So just uh, like a little meadow right now. Most of it isn't planted, but some of it is. From afar, it's less annoying. But yeah, we we will have plenty. I mean, I already knew it. It's part of the plan. It's still annoying. They could have done something, right? That would be nice. But yeah, zero pride in their work. So, live and learn, right? Uh, should probably hired Lolo at all from the start but we didn't know that uh, back then or at least we didn't know that his brother was available so his brother is uh, I don't even know what title he, he has experience with the building for the government making uh, roads and riprabs and a little bit of everything uh, Lolo is more I mean, he, he can do these things, but he's more, his expertise is more like harvesting, farming, and stuff like that. That's what he does more well. Yeah, that's good English. And he uh, will uh, use, and their, uh, their dad is a trained carpenter, um, Filipino trained still. make some bamboo furniture hi buddy in the future as well start with one see how it looks and then make more if it's good um, but yeah no I mean at least it's not flooding right now so this does work uh, for a while uh, but yeah we definitely need oh yeah and the, of course the floor inside has a nice slope inward so if there's water coming in it will go from that's where we think it goes into the CR and they usually close the door to the CR so there's a nice little steam room there where not nowhere for the water to go except up and then it uh, condensates on the roof or on the ceiling sorry uh, so yeah. yeah oh yeah we have our uh, CCTV set up although don't tell anyone but without electricity it actually doesn't work uh, it's not solar. This one is solar, but it does not like the storm. This one is rice-based. Uh, or corn-based right now. Oh yeah, I need to... Uh, uh, like count, run through, whatever. The, uh, the corn, it's that's just a uh, spoiler alert. It's not a great way to make money in the Philippines to uh, plant corn at least not at one hectare scale maybe if you have like 50 hectares you can make more money from it but it's not really worth it especially if you divide it by two as we do uh, but yeah I'll, uh, I'll look over the numbers when I'm when I have them in front of me it's gonna be easier hi puppy See if we can see anything inside. So yeah. Oh yeah. Here we're gonna put some of the the remaining dirt. Hi buddy. Uh, here and then at least divert some of the water. Do you have to walk in front of me? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I have. Yeah, it's gonna be too dark here. Oh yeah. And we have. A, we thought it was a crack, but hi. Uh, it's probably just. Let's see. Uh, the, oh, there we go. Yeah, this one. 
we have um, uh, it's mostly likely the film the film was not done probably a bunch of bubbles and stuff uh, I can pretend to be surprised this one I put in here because of course they left that out in the rain and the storm and I I, I kind of like having my tools kind of like having my tools out of the rain I'm silly that way I like to keep them but uh, it's not really how they do it here they leave it in the mud and the rain and are th surprised to have to get new ones every two weeks but whatever case in point um, but yeah but yeah I want to see if we can get some water into this tank hook, hook up the the rain catching system the roof is okay uh, it's not perfect it's okay it's much better than it was so number 82 of the things we need to fix from the first crew uh, but whatever it is what it is I hear kids other than the kids are showing up All right. anyway uh, that's part of it we'll have everything fixed it's just a slight annoyance right now don't eat that high. Uh, slight annoyance right now when you see the things that like a leaking door because they couldn't even bother to weld it correctly. Kind of pisses me off, but uh, nothing surprises me. So yeah, the road is still here though. For all of those that said, it, it will be just uh, sand and stone after two weeks. It's not that bad. We can still use it. We're gonna have to fix a lot of it, especially down there, uh, where the big truck drove on the side of it. Thank you for that one. Um, and the riprap is still standing as well. The house hasn't fallen over yet, but there's still a shitload of things we need to fix from the first crew. My favorite is this one, where they gave us this wonderful, wonderful terrace that's one centimeter thick at least with rebar so it doesn't have to be perfect but I mean, come on, take some bloody pride in what you do at least that's how I think yeah, here you go that's how thick it is it's about one centimeter half an inch or a third of an inch or uh, 2.54 uh, parts of an inch, I don't know. Can you guys please switch to metric? It's a better system anyway. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today in the wind. I don't know if you can see it, but it, oh yeah, you can probably hear it actually. It's very strong wind. It's, I don't know, it's actually the, the most on or open clear weather we've had uh, in two days, something like that. Still windy as hell. Uh, and oh yeah, I should actually where where we're staying. Two trees have come down. Uh, nothing. One of them is a thick one that like ripped in half. So, but the other one fell on a house, but no no major damage. Just a gutter that went. Here we haven't really seen any damage yet. I think it's actually less. Um, a few trees here as well, but, but I think this area is less affected by typhoons than other areas. Anyway, we'll uh, see if we film anymore. The phone is filling up. We can't upload anything since we don't have internet or electricity. Yay! Uh, still think it's better than Sweden, but. Anyway, see you guys.
say three bars, but um, I commented that yeah, if anyone thinks of pulling the rebar, they could. So I had him dig, uh, find some existing rebars, and just connect from there. Yeah, we got some rebars here, so at least it, it will make the grills, outdoor grill, sturdy. Just so we have some protection here. I can see rebar here though. Anyway, I brought some fish, so we'll just have lunch first before they proceed with the work. And. Lolo said they should be able to finish removing the dirt here at the back and then when the weather gets better uh, or getting the tail from the typhoon but after this is done at least we finish removing the dirt here and then we can do plexibon on this side as well and then some touch-ups or finish up the ones that has some gaps the ones that uh, we missed so at least we secure that and yeah we'll solve this door problem apparently we had a welded door steel door but the sides of it that's where the water comes in and we also solve the we're gonna solve the floor part of it but yeah at least we got some input from Lola and Uncle Tan his dad uh, just troubleshooting some stuff and with the help of you guys when you see the video but yeah my husband is tired I mean I have some energy it's good to have someone that works here huh? No, no? yeah we're gonna have lunch but yeah very foggy I just want him to chill there and have some rest. He's been driving around and I'm doing the not really supervision but checking what's up, knowing what's going on. We work like a team and I don't mind. Yeah, I want him relaxed and chill as much as possible. Anyway, see you in a bit. Okay. Ego. Ah, ego I need picture, picture. Picture if it's running. Oh yeah, it's running. <laughs>
Lagi pat pa apa asa na lang nak dri asa. Andra, ah, yeah. yeah, managed to take it out. <laughs> this is very foggy. Earlier we have the view here, but now it's gone. We still have blacky though. But yeah, not sure if you can see. Fogs moving in. Fogs moving in. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm not sure which typhoon this is right now, but ah, mountain is back. Yeah, it goes on and off. Anyway, oh, I just thought it's cool. Still see fast movement of fogs there. Yeah, it cleared up a bit now. Yeah, we'll see what's up, but yeah, I've uh, dumped some soil here behind the CR. Gio playing by himself and uh, this is where I dumped the rest of it just the back of the outdoor kitchen still have some fuel left there so I'll get back to it So continue our work. Yeah. Very funny. It's almost zero visibility by the road. To clear up in a bit, I think. We'll see.
I see if the mountains will show up. I think it's back to So we ran out of free bars for the girls at the CR. So we're just scouting for more rebars we can just use. Lola is up for it, so yeah, it's good. We do pragmatic ways. If we run out of free bars, we get more here. And that other thing. And apparently, this is not the yellow flowers that I wanted, but I still like these. <laughs> We're planting our pine trees here. This is second one and first somewhere over there. So yeah, it's good to have neighbors helping. Pine tree. And blacky. on this side as well just to soak up some water just to make sure Till 3 p.m. Zero visibility. I think that will be it for today. So, see you guys in the next few videos. Thank you for watching.